All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to do a really quick video on this one. Um, I was watching this video, one of Asmongold's videos, and I basically watched our boy here um, die to DC <clears throat> for like the second time to the point where he literally named his character um, DC LOL XD um, because he was only going to live until he DC'd. Um, the number one thing that's stopping me from playing Classic WoW Hardcore is the fact that I, you know, I live in China and I know it's only a matter of time before I DC on the WoW servers and I die because of it because that's just my life. Um, I get a, when I don't play normally, I get a DC maybe every, I don't know, like 12 hours. Um, flushing my NDS, uh, really helps, but you know, it's like, uh, where you, where you go into like the command prompt CMD and you type like, you know, um, uh, whatever flush flush your dns but i've been thinking about this what all this means is that i've been thinking about this for quite some time how the hell as a game designer would i go about fixing the potential dc issues in an online hardcore version of an mmo like classic wow hardcore and i made a video on on it before but i've since refined my idea much much better so i'm not going to spit it out into the ether so my current idea about how to fix hardcore DCing is this you literally use Divine Shield, a.k.a. Paladin Bubble, the one that makes you immune to everything that's a dog, with some slight modifications. So, for example, the game would need to identify that the character has DC'd or it possibly has DC'd, and it could do that in, in a very easy way where it's like, um, it's been 10 seconds and the character in question has taken no actions whatsoever, meaning no key inputs, no movement, no nothing, like nothing, not even a mouse wiggle on the screen, like nothing has happened. The camera hasn't adjusted. Nothing has taken place. And the game automatically goes, okay, there's a high probability that you've DC'd. I'm going to immediately put a uh, divine shield over you that lasts something like two minutes. Maybe 60 seconds, who knows? We, we, we can debate how long the shield lasts. The shield makes you completely immune to damage, so you're unable to take damage. But it also kind of time stops your character. And what I mean by that is uh, your abilities uh, um, don't cool down at all. You regenerate no mana, um, uh, no, no spirit uh, tick, no nothing. You're kind of in a, a time-stopped um, divine shield. The other element you'd want to change with this Divine Shield is um, any every time a mob hits the Divine Shield, it causes one point of aggro to the mob, meaning that the mobs aren't going to reset anytime soon because you've been standing there Divine Shielded like 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 a like like a dumbass um, after having run away theoretically for and then and then DC'd right potentially. Um, so the mobs are, are continuously being aggroed. They're going to stay aggroed until you come back or until the shield wears off and and, and you die. This gives you plenty of time to log back on as your character. You'll be stuck inside of this divine shield when you finally get back on. And the moment you take any action, um, or actually I would just have it be that you would have to like right click the shield off of you. So you could like scream for help and chat and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, um, it's going to wear off. The shield's going to wear off in like two minutes from the point of your potential DC. And then, you know, it plays out from there because you've been aggroing the mobs this entire time. Um, there are some downsides to this. You might want to put a cooldown timer on the thing. Like this can only happen once every eight hours, every five hours or three hours, two hours, whatever the heck. That way people, it's not a mechanic that people get to abuse. However the hell you would possibly abuse such a thing. And, um, yeah. So I just wanted to put that out there real fast that I think, um, a divine shield with a few t uh, tweaks, especially if attacking the divine shield puts one point of aggro on the mobs, um, very easily could be used to um, give DC protection to people in Classic WoW Hardcore. Um, anyways, I will end the video here, and uh, Deus Volt, boys. Um, you could also make um, it cost gold, so it's like a physical item in your bag. Like um, like when we... Uh, damn it, what, what the hell is that item we use for uh, Divine Sacrifice um, that costs like a gold? So we, we need a, a, um, a mat in our bags at all times in order to DI somebody. And when we DI somebody, we die, right? But it costs like a gold to DI somebody. You could easily make it an item in your bag that's kind of expensive and yada, yada, yada. But anyways, I'm going to keep this video short and uh, Deus Holt, boys.